Welcome back to the fur, ladies and gentlemen, where we raise the intellectual level of our program. And our subject tonight is recap of the 2018 World Cup and what's Notre Dame without a hunchback. I'm Jesse Giraffe, and our panel tonight consists of Kennedy Platypus, Juan Dog, Dana Jellyfish, and Greg Koala, distant cousin to Buster Moon. Sorry, we're not distant cousins. My apologies, Greg. Let's get to our first subject, as discussed by Juan, which is the recap of the 2018 World Cup. Juan! The World Cup. Juan! Thanks, Jesse. The World Cup is held every four years, and since I'm soccer's biggest fan, I live to serve. But, you don't see me chewing on soccer balls, nope. But, I would like to, in my own words, repost this from Wikipedia. This was the first World Cup to be held in Eastern Europe, and the 11th time that it has been held in Europe. At an estimated cost of over $14.2 billion, it was the most expensive World Cup. It was also the first World Cup to use the video assistant referee system. The finals involved 32 teams, of which 31 came through qualifying competitions, while the host nation qualified automatically. Of the 32 teams, uh, 20 had also appeared in the previous tournament of 2014, while both Iceland and Panama made their first appearances at a FIFA World Cup. A total of 64 matches were played in 12 venues across 11 cities. Germany were the defending champions, but were eliminated in the group stage. The final took place on July the 15th at the Luxi Stadium in Moscow between France and Croatia. France won the match 4-2 to two to claim their second World Cup title, making their fourth consecutive title won by a European team, especially with the help of Mbappe, the youngest French player to score at a World Cup. Neat story, and uh, I visited the World Cup with my uncle last year, and it was an epic, as, as, as epic as rockin' New Year's Eve. And I kind of admit I love my Bobby. I know, right? Right. Before we continue and head on over into our next subject, I've got a fantastic little s s short subject for you in lieu of my breakdown. Roll film. There was a little clown who wasn't having his very best day. Why? He wasn't invited to the birthday party next door. He could hear the fun on the other side of the fence. He could see the balloons. Oh, it made him feel bad. A bluebird brought him a flower. A butterfly tickled his nose. A squirrel even offered to play acorn pickup with him. But it didn't work. He still felt sad because he wanted to go to the birthday party, but he wasn't invited. Then he had a big idea. He would make a birthday party of his very own and invite all his toys. And that's what he did. He got his little table and the chairs. The bluebird helped him with the decorations. His teddy was very glad to be invited. So was the squirrel. He even invited his dump truck. It was a really fun party. They had pretend peach cake. For games, they ran a race. Teddy came in second. And they all played acorn pickup, of course. Everybody got a flower for a prize. What a good party we're having, the little clown said to all his friends. And you know what? The little clown was so busy having so much fun, he didn't even notice that the birthday party on the other side of the fence was all okay, over. Okay, but uh, let's get back home. to our next subject, which this is, uh, is what is Notre Dame day. without a hunchback? A bit many of you remember the fire that and almost you know destroyed what? the ever-famous really Notre Dame was. of France. Okay, but uh, let's get back to our next subject, which is, uh, what is Notre Dame without a hunchback? I bet many of you remember the fire that almost destroyed the ever-famous Notre Dame of France. Well, Jesse, Greg, and I are going to tell you about it. Jesse, why don't you go first? Hmm? Okay. According to Wikipedia, just last month, a structure fire broke out beneath the roof of Notre Dame Cathedral of Paris. By the time it was extinguished, the building spire and most of its roof had been destroyed and its upper wall severely damaged. Extensive damage to the interior was prevented by its stone vaulted ceiling, which largely contained the burning roof as it collapsed. Many works of art 
and religious relics were moved to safety early in the emergency, but others suffered some smoke damage and some exterior art was damaged or destroyed. The cathedral's two pipe organs and its three 13th century rose windows suffered little to no damage. Three people suffered injuries related to the fire. Greg, you're next. Okay, but I will not be intimidated by a giraffe. That means nobody better make fun of me. Okay. President Emmanuel Macron said that the cathedral would be restored and launched a fundraising campaign which brought in pledges of over 1 billion as of 22 April 2019. It has been estimated that restoration could require 20 years or more. Thank you. Now, thank you. Now, now they're construction guys. They're Working hard to repair the damage caused by the fire to say nothing of Quasimodo, the hunchback said to live there. If this were a movie, as a matter of fact, Judge Frollo would reinvigorate his victory when he saw this. But this is serious business here, and I'm going to explain how it occurred. At 1820, the fire alarm sounded and the guards evacuated the cathedral within minutes. One climbed to the space beneath the roof, but found no fire. At 1843, the alarm sounded again, and at 1849, the guards investigated again, this time finding flames. The alarm system was not designed to automatically notify the fire brigade, which was summoned only at 1851 after the guards had returned. Firefighters arrived at the church within 10 minutes after the call was issued. Police quickly evacuated, evacuated the Ile de la Cité. White smoke rising from the roof turned black before flames appeared from the spire, which then turned yellow. Within an hour of flames being seen, the roof and spire were fully engulfed and soon collapsed. Um, I hate to interrupt an important report, but I just got a text message from Quasimodo. He's up with the spire. Wow, there's a lot to be said for having reported about what happened in Paris. Well, folks, Quasimodo needs our help. That's all the time we have for now. Join us again next week as we recap when India went fully electric. That's all, folks!